Hey everyone, my name is David Dunbar, or the Deep Park Evangelist. I am back at Kings Island's Halloween Haunt. And by the way, happy first day of fall, everybody, because I forgot to say it earlier while I was at Spear Halloween, uh, playing around for my fifth or sixth year in a row. So this is my third year uh, vlogging Kings Island Halloween Haunt. I don't think those uh, torches have been used in quite some time. Uh, I mean, other than last night, which was opening night, this is opening weekend. I come every year for opening weekend, but I always make an effort to come back again another night because for those of you who don't know, Danny, my close friend Danny, or as she's known on YouTube as the Ohio Jones, uh, takes the fur opening weekend off every year to attend Comic-Con here in Ohio. Anyway, so she is taking her boyfriend, Daniel, who also works here at Kings Island for his first time. So I will have to make sure that I come back again later on this year just to uh, come and see both of them at the same time. For those of you who are new to my YouTube channel, the only place I do not go to ever for um, to vlog Halloween Haunt is Haunted Houses. Why is that? Medical reasons? But for those of you who also don't know me, hi, what's up? Absolutely, I'm the Deep Park Evangelist. I've been YouTubing for almost seven years. I'm originally from Central Florida. Are you a local resident at all? Are you really? I'm also in Kentucky as well. I live in Florida. Really? I was going to go there today, believe it or not. Yeah, I have a girlfriend. We're actually getting engaged in just a couple of months. Hi. Come here, bud. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm also known as David. Nice to meet you, too. So, yeah. Um, I'm also a Christian, so I don't believe in doing the whole haunted houses bit. Um, I'm a... This I consider as a gray area, just walking around the park. Oh, also I should mention, for those of you who are also new to my YouTube channel, I am turning 30 on Veterans Day, which is November 11th. I do see some of the scare actors coming out now. Um, unfortunately, the odds of me seeing Alana are very low. So let's go ahead and turn this camera around. What I'm gonna do again, here, here comes one right now. What we're gonna do again is we're gonna go all the way around this way and we're gonna end right back here again at the end of the night. All right, let's do it. Also, I am vlogging Halloween Haunt for the very first time in 4K. I've always done this in HD. So last year was the first time I ever came here alone the first year I ever came here, I came with a former friend of mine known as Brian Brown. And the only reason why I had to end my friendship with him is because, unfortunately, he wasn't very supportive of my relationship with Katie. Which is weird because, you know, I was helping him with his personal issues. But anyway, I hated to do it. So last year I went the uh, other way. So we're every other every year I switch it up. Let's see what they have going on over here at the Kings Island Theater. I was actually just here this summer with my dad, and he took me to see something called um, the Phantom Theater Encore. It was really cool. It doesn't look like they have anything going on, but I figured I would just check just to be on the safe side. So. As of right now, everything looks about the same. Of course, the last time I came down this path, I got my camera got flicked off, so hopefully nothing bad will happen. So I am YouTubing alone tonight. Um, normally, I do have my uh, best friend for life right by my side with my uh, YouTubing. Her name is Katie, like I was mentioning to that one guy. 
but she does not do well with anything scary. She did put up with um, Spirit Halloween earlier today, but she will be back here again with me tomorrow and our close friend Ayla when we come here for the opening day of Tricks and Treats Festival. And we're gonna come back here again next Sunday, just her and I. Where that looked like Danny, but she said she wasn't working. Cause she would have recognized me. So we got cornered over here, the entrance to that. And then we got pumpkin eater straight ahead. But I wanna go through pumpkin eater, so. I'm gonna see if Megan Martin is working over here tonight. like pumpkin eater gets smaller every year this seems smaller than even last year so cornered for those of you who do not know is a haunted house over here I'm obviously not gonna go over there but I did want to at least point out really fast we got something over here called rotten board you can get alcoholic drinks over here Beer, what else? And canned beer. Unfortunately, King's Island Church is a little bit too high of a price for me to want to invest in alcohol. And on top of that, I don't really have a lot of money. And I gotta save my money for breakfast and coffee next week. And, uh, that's a little crucial, even though I'm only working three days next week, because uh, next week I've agreed to cut down, well, actually I'm working four days, but three days before I get paid. But anyway, um, we're doing something this month called the um, old plan. So everybody has agreed to work one day less than they normally do. The only reason why I'm walking this way is I want to show everybody where the entrance to Corner is in case you are wondering. So anytime you see that skull and crossbones, and I always like to mention this every time I YouTube this event, that is an indication that you are at the entrance to a haunted house. So the one corner's entrance is right over here at Invertigo. And if you see those lights right over there in the distance, that's where it is. So let's keep going. One of my traditions that I always like to do every Halloween haunt, now that you can see it, but uh, I always like to ride um, something called the back here at Kings Island. Yeah, it's a little dark, so you can't really see it. But anyway, um, it is now time to move on. That took me about half an hour just to uh, get through that entire line. And it was a 10 minute wait, but the ride did go down for about five minutes, which caused enough delay that the line is easily a 20 to 30 minute wait now. But anyway, uh, that was my one ride for the night. 
And uh, as I said, it is a tradition of mine, sorry, tradition of mine to ride that every Halloween haunt. And it's one of my favorite rides to ride here during the fall. And I typically don't ride it uh, unless I'm here by myself. And I really just don't period ride a lot of roller coasters anymore here just because I'm just trying to take Katie into consideration and her feelings. And Katie's not a big roller coaster person. And that's okay. That's what I got stuff like this for. All right. Let's move on to the next big section, and that's where I will continue my vlog. All right. Let's move on to the new section. Passing by one of Katie's favorite games called Age or Weight or Birth Mom. But look at all the Yoshis. She's already got two of them. Yeah, t twice already they have failed to guess her age correctly. My good friend James um, was able to accidentally trick the employee into guessing some age way off to what Katie actually is. And then the first time, we gave no help whatsoever. And I believe that was the same day that Katie rode the um, racer for her first time. This is the first time that Adventure Port has been open during Halloween Haunt. Now, if I had more money, I would have loved to come over here for dinner and uh, have an alcohol. But once again, I really don't have the money and I'm not going to go and text Katie and be like, you know, hey, can you... um?" send me some money via Apple Cash or whatever. Just for something that she won't approve of, so. And besides, I really don't need anywhere to eat, and if I really was hungry, I would go to McDonald's or something, and I, I actually ate a huge lunch today. I went to um, Ninja Girl for my first time. Oh good, the Coca-Cola place is open. And um... I um... Also did anything else because I also had some shepherd's pie for dinner, so... Yeah, I've definitely had more than enough to eat. Not to mention... I um... Ate lunch late in the day, so... Anyway, let me just stop in here and get another quick drink. This time I'm going to get some lemon water. My first time using the uh, drink plan here at Kings Island. Last year I brought my souvenir bottle, but this year I'm getting the drink plan. And I like it so much that next year I'm getting the drink plan again. And next year Katie and I are also going to get um, whatever you call it. Yeah, of course. Up. What was that? Yeah, of course. What, what's that getting posted on Facebook? This is the Theme Park Evangelist YouTube channel. Ah, nice. Yeah, turn seven in the summer. How many subscribers you got? 323. So you're going famous, bro. I hope so. I can only hope. All right, let me uh, end this book for now. Anyway, what I was um, trying to say was. Uh, I noticed that they have hot chocolate now over in that um, Coca-Cola freestyle place that I was just in. And um, on a side note, one of the reasons why I love to um, come to these kind of events is even though there's a, you know, a good mixture of, how should I put this uh, in a polite way, people who um you know, don't follow God or whatever, or people who are confused and are um, kind of um, going their own way in life. But, you, you know, you'll find a lot of people like that. It's kind of, you know, neat to come to these kind of events 
and it attracts a lot of people because they see because they don't typically see a lot of YouTubers at, at this park. Woo, it's awesome. Let's go. Let's go to you're you are gonna get people like that on the odd occasion. They're gonna call me a loser, and that's okay. I'm I'm used to it. But you know what? Yeah. At the end of the day, I enjoy what I do, and when I do these live streams at my house, I really enjoy the fact that there are people that I can touch and I can reach. I can't please everybody, and that's okay. That's not the purpose of this YouTube channel. So, so enough with the chit chat. Let's um, get back to showing everybody Coney Mall. I, I do have the on the odd occasion of those people that will try to intentionally bomb my uh, vlog, thinking that I'm good. They're gonna get up me upset, but in reality, I just don't even care. So they brought back the um, Jack in the Box, or just Jack. And he went off again. We want to welcome you all here to the Coney Mall, home to our killer clowns. And every 15 after the hour and 45 after the hour, they lead you all in a little dance. And so right now, we have our killer clown conga. It seems much friendlier this year in this area. A lot of this stuff is the same as last year. So in this section you got Alien Abyss, Alien X, and Hotel C. Mitchell. Cool. Some of my favorite guys. Yeah, they can cause sparks. So if you want to get to Alien Abyss and Alien X, two of the haunted houses in this area, just take a left here. By the way, if you saw yourself on my YouTube vlog tonight, make sure that you leave a comment below. And I'm going to let everybody know this. Any rude, inappropriate, or harassment kind of comments will be removed. This is a Christian YouTube channel and I do not tolerate anything inappropriate. So over here is the line for Kilmart. The last time I checked the line, it was 90 minutes. This is the most popular of the haunted houses in the area. The line starts right here. If you can't tell, the line pretty much wraps all the way around 
up and down, up and down. So this area is not used at all during the remainder of the year, just during Halloween haunts. I might be able to see it a little bit better here in the lighter area. <laughs> That's a lot of people. I don't know if the line is still at 90 minutes or if it's grown up to two hours. It's hard to say. I worked this game um, four years ago and I got to see the line. Over here, over by Katie's favorite ride here in the entire park, is the line for Hotel St. Mitchell, hence the red skull and crossbones. Wow, look at that in the dark. That is so cool. Duke Box Diner looks great at night. All right, I'm going to take a quick pause and just check in with Katie, and I'll be right back. All right, time to go down what used to be Pumpkin Eater. Very pretty at night. I wanted everybody to um, see this. So they've got all the different signs for Halloween Haunt over here now. They got Cavern of Terror, Slaughterhouse, Alien Abyss, Kelmart, and a couple of others that I could not see because they're hiding very well. But anyway, let's keep moving. Oh, there's Coney Mall over there. Looks like Backlot Express could be too long of a line, so I'm not gonna wait for it and I'm not gonna check it either. I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> cool. They, they intentionally shine uh, red lights under the trees to make them look like they're already turning colors. Crowds are very thick over here. They thick boy. Oh wow, they actually had this drink station open. That's unusual. Actually, no, they don't. A lot of people just like to sneak in, but there's no shock there. Don't bother me, though. So, if I'm not mistaken, Slaughterhouse is back there over by the Beast. Oh, 
you want to be upset, watch the And then, of course, this is Cavern of Terror over here. And instead of fast lane for the um, haunted houses and the one maze, which I was over by in Vertigo, they have something called Fright Lanes, which I think is clever. By the way, I just wanted to do a huge shout out to the um, guy I was in line with the bat for the bat for. Um, he was willing to sell me. Uh, fast lane for twenty dollars, which I thought was really nice of him. I told him I wish I had the money, otherwise I might have considered buying it. And also, if I was actually planning on staying all the way till midnight, I might have actually considered it. But I'm not. And I really, and I did tell him how much I really did appreciate his offer. I didn't even catch his name, unfortunately. Wish I had. Cool. Okay, that's me. I gotta check this out. Tool shed. This is new. Oh, cool. We got scare actors in here. This year, I am going to refrain from going to Planet Snoopy during Halloween Hot because I will be back there tomorrow. Okay, that was cool. <laughs> they added on a lot more to Rivertown. I noticed that they didn't go after me because they could tell I was thoroughly enjoying that a little too much. And something tells me I'm going the wrong way again. So. You know, I don't think I can get back without going through Planet Snoopy. So let's. I'm going to use this time to go ahead and let you guys know. Instead of ending the vlog officially. Um at the um, park entrance. I kind of made the decision uh, halfway through the my uh, park tour, so to speak, of Halloween Haunt 2023 to go ahead and walk back towards the car, not all the way, with the um, camera, and just kind of do a... Um, final close out and just let everybody know kind of like upcoming vlogs to expect over the next 
mm, couple of weeks or so. And just to remind everybody about the engagement trip that's coming up in a little less than two months now. So, just be ready for that. But, in the meantime, we are already back at the front of the park. I don't know if you can tell, but some of these um, actors over here uh, pl oh, like come up one. here frequently way. throughout the year. Fantastic. Well, here's the thing. And it they uh, matter what you like. work in the different Get over there. And <laughs> you didn't know what you were signing up for, but you're in it now, buddy. I don't care if you don't eat your pee. You're not eating this dinner table. Seriously. All right, folks. Very pretty. Alright, I think it's time for one more drink before the end of the night. Of course, hit up the restaurant one last time on the way out. Alright, are you ready? Cool. Alright, let's get this train started. Cool. I like the ones that stay in character the entire time. Oh, cool, a pirate. A lot more scare actors out now. isn't terrible and that was even including a um, half an hour delay over at um, the uh, bat but I'm not officially done with the vlog yet like I said I'm gonna go over announcements but for those of you who don't want to stick with announcements this is bye to you for uh, those of you who wish to stick around I'll be officially ending the vlog over the next five minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the restroom. But for those of you who are uh, going ahead and leaving off here, I'm going to go ahead and do two um, outros. So always remember, you can do all things through Christ's strength as you. Have a great night. Peace out. For those, for those of you who are sticking around, I'll see you in about minute or so something just happened in the parking lot I don't know what happened so since I have a long walk back to the uh, car I figured I would do something to uh, keep me entertained 
So, might as well use this opportunity to go over some of my announcements for my upcoming vlogs. So for those of you who uh, decided to stick around, thank you so much. So anyway, um, best way to put it is, uh, tomorrow is supposed to be my very first official vlog for Tricks and Treats Festival here at Kings Island, which starts tomorrow. Um, unfortunately, there are no more vlogs again until Thursday since I am working Monday through Wednesday. However, though, whenever I have the time on Thursday, I am going to be doing my live stream finally regarding my staycation uh, here, or sorry, well, not here in Ohio, but in uh, Kentucky. Because I am that behind, and that was like so last month. Also, Friday, I am going to be doing another live stream celebrating Walt Disney World's birthday. I think they're turning 52 this year, which is actually next Sunday to be specific. And then next Sunday, Katie and I are going to be returning to, um, yep, something definitely happened, that's for sure. Kings Island again for Tricks and Trees Festival again, and, um, she's going to dress up a little differently. Tomorrow she's going to do something a little more simpler, but, um... Yeah, there's a lot of people trying to leave uh, at the same time. Thankfully, the uh, accident's only on the other side, or whatever the heck happened. But anyway, um, but yeah, um, Katie and I are going to be going to Tricks and Treats, not just tomorrow, but the following Sunday, and course my biggest announcement of all my announcements is the fact that we're doing the engagement trip a um well not I should, almost in a week I meant to say a little less than two months from now so we're going to western North Carolina to the western North Carolina mountains specifically Marion western North Carolina Marion, North Carolina. Uh, whichever is easier for you guys. And, um... We're going to be staying in a cabin with Katie and her parents and her dog for... Mm, five to six days. And then... Just found out last Monday that Answers in Genesis is now partnered up not just with the Museum of the Bible, but also with um oh my word what is the name of that um went a little too far I'm gonna go back just a little bit just a little bit what is the name of that place oh my word oh yeah Ripley's they're also partnered up with Ripley's of Tennessee so that was a surprise for her since last Christmas. I got the flu accidentally. And I couldn't, I didn't feel old enough to take her. Um, I am going to be taking her to the um, Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies. And that will be pretty much one of our final destinations of the trip. But my favorite part of this entire trip here is the fact that um, I am finally, I mean finally, going to be vlogging the brand new Bucky's in Sever Sevierville, Tennessee in just a little less than two months. Now, ironically, I had the opportunity to do it back in July, but I accidentally allowed Jonathan, my brother, control of the wheel. And Jonathan was in that much of a hurry to get us home on time. 
So he didn't pull over. And it was right off the interstate. I even said to him, it's right there. Why aren't we stopping? He goes, should have thought about that before you let me take over the wheel. So since Katie and I are huge Bucky's fanatics, we're going to make sure we stop. Oh, I parked such a long ways down. Oh, my word. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next vlog. I'm going to go ahead and end this just so I can focus on finding my car. And always remember, you can do all things through Christ to strength as you. And this is the official end outro of the vlog. And if, Lord willing, I will see you guys tomorrow here again at King's Island for Tricks and Treats Festival. Have a great night. Pray for me to go home safely.